Officer of the Guard, let the Honor Guard set up the symbols of the soldier and let a soldier be detailed to guard it. The State of Wisconsin, in honor of the rededication of the statue of Colonel Hans Christian Haig at the State Capitol May 29, 2022, and whereas Colonel Hans Haig was born in Norway 1829 before moving to America in 1840 and settling in Wisconsin, and whereas Colonel Pegg was a staunch opponent of slavery, serving in numerous anti-slavery American destinations. One such contributor explained, quote, my grandfather was a neighbor of the Haigs in Lier, Norway, and came directly to the Haig family in Wisconsin in the spring of 1853. There he stopped for a few weeks before he came to Decorah, Iowa. One final contributor concluded, Wisconsin should be proud in her memory of such a hero. Officer of the Guard, let the wreaths be placed. Good afternoon, everyone. The Wisconsin Historical Society collects, preserves, and shares stories of all of our residents of Wisconsin. And we do so because we want to inspire people to build a better future by the access to our great and shared history that we have. And it was a privilege and an honor to actually work with the Department of Administration, Paul Veltum and her team, uh, in recovering the pieces of uh, Colonel Haig's statue and actually working with a variety of people to figure out how to conserve it and restore it. So what Skirb did, and really the leadership of Paul Veltum actually accomplished, was first understanding what needed to be done. And so they accessed the society and our experts and worked through that. But she actually put a, a small group together to figure out what were the best conservators in the United States to actually fix this statue. 
<laughs> I'm Lori Coffey. I'm the third great-granddaughter of the Colonel, and I am so proud, not just of him and all his accomplishments, because obviously that's, that's pretty cool, but the fact that people remember him today, and they're honoring him because of what he did and what he, his legacy to the state. But it's also for us, you know, his legacy has helped us as a family. May 28th, 2022. Reference, Colonel Haig statue rededication. Dear Fred, we want to thank you for the kind invitation to join you all for the rededication of the Colonel Haig statue. I wish that I could be there in person to pay tribute to Colonel Haig. There are many modern and historic connections between Norway and the United States. We often talk about the strategic importance of our current shared defense, trade and cultural exchanges. Events during and after World War II loom large in our common history. Many, as you know, on May 17, 1814, the Norwegian Constitution was signed in Ed Sol. Since then, Norwegians and Americans have been united and dedicated to the principles embodied in those two longest surviving constitutions in the world, liberty, equality, individual rights, and freedom. Thanks to the people who first raised the statue, today's statue committees and Colonel Haig's supporters, we are reminded of the crucial role that Norwegians and Norwegian Americans served in the development of our country. Colonel Haig embodied the same principles that Norway and the shared constitutions hold dear. He worked on reforming prisons, abhorred slavery, was an outspoken anti-slavery activist, and he dedicated his life to liberty, equality, individual rights, and freedom. May we all work together to do the same. Well, I think that uh, the thing to take away from this is that Colonel Haig was an immigrant and that he faced nativism when he came over. And he was not, the Norwegians weren't really considered part of the United States, along with a lot of other Europeans. They had a foreign language, they were not fully accepted. And he gave his life fighting for this country. That is, that is still happening. We have immigrants, as, as the speech said, first generation immigrants who are fighting and dying for this country. And it's on the rest of us to make them part of this country, to accept them as part of this country. And that's the real message of this. And so as I conclude, I want you to take a look at that statue. As we look at that statue, I want you to look beyond just the physical representation before us. This statue and its story commemorates and covers much more. Represented in that statue is not just Hans Haig, but Oswald Babbler, Daniel Peterson, Werner Schwartz, Herman Botcher, Nick Balderado, Armando Lopez, and countless, countless others from this state and this nation that are foreign born and end up becoming American US veterans. That is a very American story and is something that we all can relate to to some degree. This Memorial Day, it is worth recalling what attracts immigrants here and what motivates them to serve and, if necessary, lay down their lives for their adopted country. This is what the Hague statue represents and is something we should recall this day and every day going forward. My name is Carrie Rayford, and I'm, um, my sister is a very gifted gal. And, uh, so I thought it was wonderful because I, I said to her, we did, who cares, you know, our relative, you know, what values did he have? And luckily, <laughs> that was mentioned. You know, all my veterans, my father was a veteran, you know, I know there are a lot of people, my, my own students, you know, went on and served, and I don't know, you know, whether they ate their lives or not. When the statue was first erected, it's, it's like 1920, and it, so we're really pleased that um, his legacy is, is being celebrated. It's been a wonderful day. Yeah. And, uh, I'm very proud to be associated with this ceremony, and I'm very happy to, to see so many people contribute their time and effort to rededicate the statue of my great-great-grandfather.
who, as the speaker said, is one of many immigrants to help make this country strong. And it's just amazing to, to have the recognition of everyone that's been a part of building this great country. My name is Major James Patrick Hank. Uh, I am a descendant of Colonel Hans Christian Hank. And I think it is only fitting and honorable that we remember him and the many that fell with him to the course of the war in the United States during the American Civil War in this way. I am honored to have been invited to participate as a guest and a member of the Hank family. And I am delighted that. Uh, this Second visit to the state of Wisconsin has brought together so many fine people. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise as you are able for the words of rededication and the rendering of military honors. Attention. In the name of the sons of Union veterans of the Civil War and of the daughters of Union veterans of the Civil War, I now rededicate this memorial. I rededicate it to the memory of Colonel Hans Christian Haig, to the soldiers of his commands, to all veterans of America's armed forces, to all civil servants, and to all who strive for human liberty and equality. And now honors for Hans Christian Haig, Colonel, 15th Wisconsin Volunteer Infantry Regiment from 31 January 1862, and Commander, 3rd Brigade, 1st Division, 20 Corps, Army of the Cumberland at the Battle of Chickamauga, 19 to 20 September, 1863. Commander of the Guard, direct your detail to render honors. Magnificent. That's just fantastic. Thank you, and thank all of you for coming. It really says what people feel about their ancestry and the legacy of America, and uh, it's absolutely marvelous.